Good morning and welcome to America's Home Cooking. There is something that everybody cooks, everybody knows, everybody has a way of doing it, but I don't like them unless they're cooked properly. Now, I, my son wants macaroni and cheese, so I made the macaroni and cheese. I've already showed you how to do it four or five times. If you want me to show you again, I will. And uh, we're gonna have a salad with it, which I'll show you a different salad that I make. But I took the franks out and I rinsed them. Now, franks are very high in salt. They have a very salty taste. And then when you grill them, the skin is rubbery. And people say, that's a frankfurter. You know, and then you go and you buy it in the street and they just put it in hot water and they cook it, but they cook a lot of the salt out. That's how I do mine. I will cook them and boil them to keep that salt level down. I can't deal with that salt and the burnt, and they keep burning them. After I cook them a bit here, I'm going to see if I can sit there and add some butter into a pan and I can cook them without burning them, which would be a nice way of having them instead of constantly on the burnt side. I really don't like it, <laughs> you know. And Richard would say, isn't that good, Sandy? And I'd go, yeah, they're fine. But everybody does it, and they, they eat burnt hot dogs. And tell me, what are you going to get out of burnt meat? Charcoal, get rid of your gas if you're full of hot air, you know, as they say. So I'm going to boil mine. I can even show you that I am doing it. If you, if you have any questions, I'll just turn you right here, tilt you down, and you can see they're in the pot with water. And I am going to cook them some. And then I'm going to see if I can brown them nicely without burning them. Now, I have a complaint and I am voicing and talking directly to this person. I woke up, I had a feeling somebody had written a comment on my uh, video on making my detergent and proceeded to read me a riot act. Well, I deleted it and I will delete it anytime I see it. You are not in my kitchen. And we have rules in a woman's kitchen. My kitchen, my rules. I know that I have very sensitive skin and it reacts to a lot of things. So I have to be very, very careful. My mother couldn't even find a detergent other than Dowie. Is it Dowie? That you use for diapers? That you use for children? That was the only one I could use for a long time. My skin is extremely sensitive. And they're putting a lot of chemicals into the detergents. And I react to it because it's not soap. And if you want to know what wears clothes out, it's actually washing. It's not your sweat. It's not the dirt what wears the material out. What wears the material out is literally the detergents that you use. All right, this is boiling. I'm going to turn this down and let them simmer to cook some of that salt out so they're not so salty for me. So, you don't have a right to condemn me or talk about salt and stuff. 20 Mule Team, Arm & Hammer, baking soda have been around hundreds of years. So don't sit there and start telling me that this is wrong and da 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 and all of the too much salt and everything else. It cleans the clothes and that's all I'm concerned with. I am not going to buy all these special little things for little things to clean up this little mess and this little mess. This is why I told you, the way you eat soup, there's a certain way you eat it so you don't spill it. That's why we have napkins, cloth napkins, paper, paper napkins fall apart. This is why we have a cup under a saucer so you don't spill the coffee. That's why we have a steak dish that is deep. This is why we sit there and have plates that aren't flat, but come up a little on the sides to contain gravies and stuff. Everything that was served was to keep our clothes clean unless you become a slob and then you're gonna spill it you don't care or anything else so then you go buy this stuff to clean this and this it doesn't matter but you have no right to come at me and tell me that I have done something wrong if it works for me in my kitchen I am not telling anybody to cook the way I do I am NOT telling anybody to make detergent the way I do I'm not telling anybody to make toothpaste the way I do or tooth powder I do tell you that you, if you use iodized salt, your teeth are going to turn yellow. If you don't do this, you're missing these nutrients and stuff, but that's what I'm bringing information. I'm showing you how I cook and make my food more nutritious. Now, if you are older than me 
and you want to say something to me, I will give you the respect to listen to you. But if you are not 72 and plus in years, you have no right to say anything to me. Do you understand that? I've earned this life and all that I have been through. You have not earned that right to sit there and say something to an elder. Now, let me get these going and we'll see if we can get this to work. Okay, I boiled them a bit. I saw the salt coming out of them, so I have them in the drain, draining. And I'm gonna add some butter to this pot now and we'll see what we can do. If I can do this in such a manner that we can brown them without burning them, and also I can get the salt out for me. It might not work, you know, I just don't know. But I'm trying something. I just want to see if I can do it. I mean, I've been to enough uh, barbecues to know you put the planks out always. And then the hamburgers are overcooked, you know, dry. I think it's because everybody's having some drinks while the cook is drinking while he's cooking. And, uh, <laughs> and everybody's feeling good so they wouldn't know the difference but I do because I don't drink so we're going to find out and I'm not going to use a high flame on this because I want to brown them but I don't want to burn them and that's the whole thing I'm trying not to do So you can see I did cook them some. We'll see what we can do. <coughs> so I don't know how long it's going to take to do this. I just want to do it carefully. And see if I can get away with it. So I figured with just a little bit of butter, but they still might do the same thing. So I can already see the skin is getting hard. So let me get some more butter in this thing. Cause it's taste of the butter with the franks more than just the uh, grilling of it. Gives it a nice a nice smell. I bet you they're gonna rupture anyway. I think that's the salt, the drying of it. So maybe this will be better. How long did I boil them? I don't know, maybe five or ten minutes. But I didn't want them to rupture in the water and lose the nutrients spilling out. So I just did it enough to just get them started and then I can just finish it up here and we'll have a better idea.
to watch these carefully. Because I know they want to explode, but all I want to do is brown them. But like I said, this might not work. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll be back when I get them further along. Okay, I can see some of them are getting ready to bubble, which means they're getting ready to explode, and I don't want them to explode. So I'm going to take them out. But as you can see, they are brown. A nice color. The only thing is, is I dip them up in butter after I boil them just enough to release some of that salt so they're not so salty. So I think that's nice. So they don't have to explode and they don't have to be so salty. You just have to take a little bit of time and as you can see, this one wants to pop. You can see which one wants to pop. This one wants to. Guess what it can be done. It's a two step instead of just boiling them or just grilling them or something. Uh, I'll show you what they look like. I'm very happy with them. See how they came out? Very, very nice without exploding. So, listen, I want you to take care and you have a lovely day.